Senge Shake Shitema Shaka Shuka Shache Nasechero Tenzi Dazona Mune Simbarese Muno Visa Hosha
it's a blessing to be in a place where the name of Jehovah is glorified. Amen. And much more than that, to fellowship with others, it's not a right, it's a privilege and a blessing. I wish that we could reflect briefly and have a season of prayer. But for this brief moment, I want us to just reflect and pray over specifics that I believe are critical and important in the life of a young person, in the ministry. There are criticals that I believe are important to take note of. 194, I just love that song in Shona. I want us to sing that song in Shona. 194, do you know that song? Where are the choristers? I hear just two stanzas. Let's sing that song. And worship is praising God. Amen? And worship is talking to God. And worship is listening to God. So let's begin um, with um, the song. Do you have this microphone? Okay, just two stanzas, my sister, and let's sing with joy. Kunona ka kwesene rudo kumusha rufaro ruwa dene rudo kumusha bow our heads and speak to the Lord. Father, our hearts are filled with anxiety perhaps for some loss of hope, for some fear, for some mixed feelings. Be that as it may, we pray that you may speak to us. We pray that as we reflect on the scriptures, at the end of this discourse, Lord, we may determine to give somebody hope. We may do all in our power to give healing to the wounded. We may plead for forgiveness for the things that are wrong we've done, that ultimately the name of God may be glorified. So thank you 
for who you are in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. amen. The backdrop of our discussion, brief discussion, is John 8. And I'm, as I speak, as I read, I'll read from the King James Version. It says, Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple. And all the people came unto him and sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had sat in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? These they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stopped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he had them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stopped down and wrote on the ground. And they which had it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Has not men condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. May I request the assistance of six people up front here? One lady, six men. John chapter 8. Early in the morning, Jesus came again into the temple. So where is Jesus, everybody? Talk to me. Where is Christ? Who wants to be Jesus? Very fast, very fast, very fast, my friend, very fast. So here is Christ. And where is Christ? Let's move close here. Where is Jesus? And, and the text says, listen carefully. And all the people came unto him. All the people. In Shona, he and Zim would say, Povo. Yes, in the temple. With who? Jesus. He was on a mountain. From the mountain, he head straight to the temple. And the multitude, they follow Jesus. They know where to find Jesus. And they go where Jesus is. And where is Christ? In the temple. Who is there with? With the people. And he says here, um, and he sat down and taught them. So Christ is in the temple. He is with the multitude. He is with the people. And he is teaching them. Are we still together out there? Now the text says, and the scribes. Uh -uh, don't, 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 don't. You, you, you can't be orderly. Just stand anyhow. And, and the what? Oh, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Don't, don't be stiff. Be flexible. Come, 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 come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I want you to be flexible. I want you to be flexible. And then the text says, the what, everybody? Oh, 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 a dialogue here. The what? The scribes. Does he look like a scribe? Let's have more scribes. My brother with powerful beard, come forward. You know, you're more represented than more than all of us here. 
so the text says they were what? Scribes. And what? And Pharisees. Now, John uses what in literally scholarship is called, he contrasts in order to emphasize. So verse 23 are written in such a way that they contrast each other. And in that contrasting, it's an interpolation of emphasis. So, so in the first text, John tells you there is who? Everybody, there's who? In the second text, verse 3, he mentions that in the place of Jesus, you have what? Pharisees and Sadducees. And in this text, Christ is in the temple. And the Pharisees are outside of the temple. Are you still with me? And in the same text, Jesus is with every body. <laughs> and Jesus is teaching every body. So his business, he is teaching. The Pharisees are hunting. No, are you with me, friends? So the scribes, they don't hunt like this. They hunt, you know, they, they hunt. They, they really hunt, gentlemen. So, so the scribes and the Pharisees are hunting. Christ is teaching. Pharisees are hunting. Christ is in the temple. Pharisees out of the temple. Are, are you still with me? So what do they do? The Pharisees, they bring what? As leaders, we are talking to leaders here. The Pharisees symbolize the leadership of the church in Israel. The pastors, the elders, the SYLs, the, 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 the colorful master guides who look exquisite. A Seventh-day Adventist in good and regular what? Excellent. Even their hairstyle speaks of Adventism. The step itself is holy. Even the way you walk into this auditorium room speaks of people who are well groomed. Powerful. Solid. Traditional. And immovable. Seventh-day Adventists. Master guys, SYLs, qualified and unqualified. Those that look forward to making it and those that look back and say, we made it already. The Pharisees were doctors of the Lord. Paul emanated from this group. They understood the Torah. They could explain the state of the dead better. They knew where Jesus is and when he entered the Hall of Holies. They could calculate 457 BC to 1844 with precision. Memorized Ellen White's quotations, 3,500 of them. Excellent! Scribes, these knew how to be, they were custodians of what the church believed. So John is specific and he wants you to know the kind of people who are not in the temple and without Jesus. And he wants you to know the kind of people who are not in the presence of Christ. And he's emphatic that in the presence of Christ are the ordinary folks. When the leadership of Israel is away from the presence of Jesus. Where are you? Where are you? I'm talking to people who were baptized 35 years ago. I'm talking of people who teach the baptismal class and without you, it ceases that Sabbath. And the question is, are you in the temple of Christ or outside of the temple? The people we lead may know where Christ is found when we don't know where to find him. Are you with me, friends? So the Pharisees, they drag this woman. Come on, come on, be dragged, be dragged. Be, be drag this woman, come, come along with her, come along with her. So, 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 where are they going? By the way, they know where Christ is, but they willfully choose not to be in the temple. When people are not in the temple and in the presence of God, they are up to some business. 
not only unto the Lord. So when they are done, they are specialists, they want to keep Israel clean. They want to keep Israel pure. So they, 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 they go out hunting. When they've hunted, then they bring the victim to Christ. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. So where are they coming? They're coming from the bush. They are, we don't know where she was caught. We, we don't know where. The Bible says, they say to him, we found her in the very. But look, with the who? With herself. So they were so brutal, evil-minded, very, very unjust that they leave the man and they bring the woman. There are people who ooze injustice in their eyes. They are holy. Now these are Pharisees, gentlemen. We're talking about SYLs of the time of Jesus. Am I still your friends? These are the master guides of the time. Rather than being with Christ, they are hunt for sinners. Pharisees were perfect. In fact, Jesus says, unless your righteousness exceeds that of Pharisees, you can't see the kingdom of heaven. These guys were, were, were tithers. These guys were not adulterers. These guys were perfect, but misguided. You, 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 you can be vegetarian, my friend. <laughs> you, you may even know the sequence of eating, but misguided and away from the God's presence. Actually, you might even have a record of all the evil people in the Seventh day Adventist Church in all churches of the East Zimbabwe Conference. You know who is holy, you know who is unrighteous, you know whose motives are wicked, and you know who is right. And your business, the question is, is your business unto righteousness? Pharisees, the SYLs and master guides of the time of Christ. They had done create a role. They graduated as adventurers. They did well as, as, uh, as, as pathfinders. They matured themselves into ambassador. And they did well as senior youth. They were, they were ex these guys were excellent. Yet, outside of the temple, away from the presence of God. So when they come here, <laughs> finally they arrive. And when they arrive, whom do they see? When Pharisees... SYLs and master guides who are outside of God's agenda come into the presence of God, they disrupt the services in the church. Now he is teaching. Are you with me, friends? He is teaching the multitude. He is telling them that the kingdom of God is at hand. When Pharisees arrive, they disrupt. Is your presence in the church a blessing? Do you know that somebody could be hard? Could, you know, while we are here, somebody could be a difficult mosquito right here. Well, we, you know, these things should move on time, man. Now look, Pastor Chris is preaching late now. Man, hear the gospel. Do I have a witness? Can somebody say amen? amen. When Pharisees, outside of divine agenda, when they arrive, they disrupt holy things taking place in the temple. And then the Bible says, when they came, come on, come on, come, 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 come. Then, then they make a circle. No, make a circle. Make a circle. Then they, then they left here. Where? Then they said, the Bible says, they made sure she was right at the center. <laughs> right at the center. Please give a chair. I was going to ask her to sit down, but give a chair. Please sit right there. She was on the floor. She was not, we are making something with dignity here. But I want you to visualize, she was thrown and she was there waiting for her destiny and execution. So they bring Christ, they bring a woman into church so that Jesus can pronounce execution, death sentence in church. When SYLs and master guys are out of the spirit, they will assassinate, they will kill, they will annihilate people in the church with the holy talk in the board. Uh, Mr. Chairman, and I don't have much to say, but uh, from the way I look at things, if we go this direction, the church is going to be polluted. And another young lady somewhere said to second that observation, Mr. Chairman, I feel <laughs> if we don't do it this way, people are going to perish. So I feel, and I move, Mr. Chairman, why are we still debating on this? I think the matter is clear. When SYLs and master guides are out of the spirit, they become weapons and spirit mediums. 
they become weapons of mass destruction in God's church. And I want to ask you, in whose spirit are you doing things? And what business are you doing in this holy church? Are you still with me, friends? So she is there in the middle, and then they said, the Bible said, then they said, follow me closely, then they said, we caught this woman in the very, now the man is not there, biased, folks. Don't be a leader who is biased. They are first class, they are, they are biased, so they say we found her, so they say, Moses says, we must turn her, what do you say? And then John says, they did this in order to test him. So their agenda is not the woman, their agenda is Christ, but what do they do? They use the woman as an object of entangling Christ. There are people who use people as diapers for their own agenda. So actually, they, the Bible says, John says here, actually, they are not worried about, they are simply using this one as an object in order to incriminate Christ. We don't have time. Do you use young people? Do you take advantage of the young people? Dr. Machando here and other sisters labor to talk a lot here. And much of that evil is perpetrated by people who are graduated master guides. Decorated SYLs. Are our people, are the young people safe in your presence? Are they safe in the presence of Pastor Guizzo? Are they safe in the presence of an elder? Are they safe? We are living at a time when it may not be safe for people of Israel to be in the presence of those that are in leadership of the church. And what does Jesus say? Jesus kneels down. Yeah, young man, kneel down. Come on, kneel down, my brother. Now, this service by this time has stopped. He was explaining, getting questions from the multitude. But they arrived, everything seized when they came. But Jesus says, I will attend to them. <laughs> He's Jesus. So he began to write. Come on, come on, my brother, act like you're writing. Uh, he began to write. He began to write on the floor there. He began to write. Write, my brother. He began to write, beginning with the oldest, beginning with the oldest. Come on, look and disappear. Go and take your seat, my brother. Another one came. Come on. Another one, what? Another one came and he disappeared. In fact, before you go, you are hurting too much, my brother. He says, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. And Jesus says, and the gospel tells me, for all have sinned. All have what, everybody? For all have So they came, one by one, they read, and they disappeared. One by one, they read, they disappeared. And when they were all gone, the only one who remained, the Bible says, then Jesus stood up. <laughs> when you come into the presence of God, ultimately, it is you and Jesus. Uh, come on, talk to me. Amen, church. She is safer in the hands of Christ than in the hands of decorated SYLs and master guides. By the way, I want you to see what John says here. I love, the, I love a biblical study here. You know what it does? When, 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 the, when the Pharisees and Sadducees and scribes saw what was there, the logical thing that they should have done was to remain in the temple. But because they were hard-hearted, they saw their evil, they left the temple. Let me tell you, when God has revealed something in your life, it is time to be closer to Jesus. Amen. But the Pharisees, when they read, they left the temple. They were not in the temple. And the text ends when they are out of the temple. The text begins with the crowd in the temple. It ends with the crowd still in the temple. But with an additional condemned but now justified when you come to Christ you get healed so Jesus says where are they and then she says they are no longer here and then Jesus says neither do I now he uses the word I here to, uh, to identify himself the same identity that you find in the Old Testament when Moses said, who do I say has sent me? He said, go and tell them, I am has sent you. So he says, 
I am does not condemn you. I, I thought somebody was going to say amen here. I am specializes in covering and healing. I am does not curse those who are already in pain. I am does not add tears to those that already have tears. I am does not exclude and stigmatize. I am heals. This is God and the gospel in verity. But then Jesus says, but you know what? Go and sin no more. In other words, Jesus does not hold sin lightly. But he does not condemn. Now, it's another gospel. Yeah, you know, Jesus says, it's everything. No, he says, neither do I. But go, my sister, and sin no. He is qualified to say that because he's God. He forgives. So she goes back. Please go. Jesus, you may take your seat and everybody else. We have young people who feel condemned. Who associate church with a place of torture. Amen. Amen. She got pregnant, but she got sliced and was finished in church corridors. We have young people who are addicted in drugs. And the mother of that child is feasted upon by the whole church. And they'll say, when you see a child does this, look at the mother. There are people who are abandoned by their spouses. And people will say, you ask yourself, why are all the women not abandoned? Ask yourself. There are people who associate church with a deathbed. And we are here. SYLs in training, qualified master guides. My appeal to you is, is it your prayer that Lord not to condemn, but to heal? Let my leadership heal, not condemn. If you're here, stand. I want to pray. I want to pray. I'm not going to condemn anybody. I'm going to heal. I'm going to give healing. There are people that I wounded by ignoring them. She wanted to say something to me, but I was too busy. You are, you are wounding. She kept on saying the same thing. She's irritating me. You are a soldier for Christ. Not to condemn, but to heal. I want to pray for some young people that we lead, that you know are wounded. I want to pray for them today. And if you know of anybody, it might be a child, it might be a child of your own relative. They are wounded, but they need healing. I want us to pray for them. Raise your hand as we talk to Jesus. For such that you know, eternal Father, we come here into your presence. We are sinners. At best, we offend you. We need healing. As we do introspection about our lives, instead of being instruments of hope and healing, we wounded somebody. By way of words that we spoke, the attitude that we displayed, the neglect, omission, to do what is right and even committing what is wrong. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. Lord, here are your daughters and your sons, including myself. Cleanse us from the sin of wounding other people. Cleanse us, Lord, from entertaining a mindset that is judgmental and dismissive of the erring ones. We pray, Lord, this afternoon, give us grace to be overcomers. But we also raise our hands in recognition and memory of loved ones who are hurting, who are wounded. They may be sisters, they may be cousins, they may be children, they may be neighbors, they may be young people that we lead who are struggling as we lift our hands this afternoon. 
We pray for an anointing of the Spirit of God upon each one of them. Today, touch them in your own way. Visit them, Father. Do for them what we cannot do in our own power. Make us a church, community that loves. Because you said to that woman, neither do I condemn you. May that be our lifestyle. May that be us. That we do not condemn, but we love, we embrace, we heal. In Jesus' name. Let everybody here say amen. Somebody was going to give us closing prayer. Chan Namad. Kunaba boy dorum surgudenga. Namponi so di Jesu Christ. Tenzi tunepam berpe on swing. Chuk tenda mari. Nichpuchu pencha matipa. Nichumba changa chiri pakat hedu. Chidam bright soka zedu. Abo pazinu enda for hunting. Chuk siya mari. Imimorim timber. Titzo say zo right soka zedu. Imimori chesa chedu. Muriche za chetu kazedu, tibatsire za rai moyo yedu, ne nepfungwa zedu, tiza zei nesu kwa di suenye, tirambe tiripa chukwa di chenye, suese saitu wa sapira mbele nilu kuzuzu suru kwa muri na kutiswa kafanira, chana mata, amen. Yeah.
Yeah. 